Hi everyone, good afternoon. Karen here with a uh, tornado warning still in effect for a lot of Rutland County and now really concerned because this storm is heading into pretty much center Rutland area. There's been large hail already and still signs of this storm showing rotation. So that's why there is still a tornado warning in effect now at least for the next 15 minutes until 5 o'clock. So it's the red shaded box including basically right now on top of center Rutland and on its way toward um, areas in and around Clarendon, Mount Holly and also Plymouth in Vermont. So let me turn off the warning so you can see where this storm is and keep in mind here with radar scans we get the scan every couple of minutes. So um, this storm is probably just a little bit farther south working its way pretty much right on top of Rutland right now where we've already seen hail up to the size of golf balls just now reported on the north side of Rutland. So that's almost two inch diameter hail that can certainly do some damage and you do not be outside in that. But not just the hail and blinding rainfall, also that potential for a tornado. So you can see the purple showing up here on triple Doppler radar indicating that uh, hail likely right over the Proctor, Rutland and Menden areas in that general vicinity also Chittenden perhaps seeing some large hail and this storm is traveling off to the southeast so I'll just loop it once so you can see the motion that this storm is traveling so basically off to the southeast through northern Rutland County again we are on air right now for a tornado warning it's in effect until five o'clock for northern Rutland County I'll throw that warning on here one more time as the storm travels off to the southeast it's moving at about 25 to 30 miles per hour in that direction. So just to give you um, that idea, this was a, uh, a storm. It's been actually very long lived. It was up in Addison County earlier on this afternoon. It weakened a bit, so the weather service canceled that tornado warning. And now the storm has regenerated a bit. It's gained some speed and momentum again and started to twist. So that's why they've reissued this tornado warning for not only northern Rutland County, but also a small fraction of Windsor County, just basically giving you that uh, cone of where the storm is headed. All right, I do want to take a look inside the storm because, uh, you know, you can never look at this too much. And what we're looking at here is the wind speed inside the storm. It's called the velocity. So I'll stop it on the latest image. And what you're looking for here is some rotation in the storm where you see the greens. That wind is heading toward the radar. So basically a northerly direction and the reds where it's heading south. So you can see that rotation right on top of the Rutland area. And that's why I'm rather concerned about this storm because that rotation looks very impressive on radar. And so that's why we could certainly have a uh, tornado underneath this storm right on top of the Rutland area. Um, keeping an eye on social media and uh, certainly keeping talks with the National Weather Service and seeing what they see. And not only have they had several reports of damage with this storm already farther north, uh, up Route 7 basically, and also up Route 22A and 30 near Cornwall and also Bridport. We've had some uh, numerous trees down there. This storm is still going strong and heading off to the southeast again around 25 to 30 miles per hour. Tornado warning there for Rutland County and also northern portions of Windsor County. So I do want you to take this storm seriously. If you're not too familiar with these things, I mean, we don't have them all that often here. Tornado warning. So if you're in your home, which you probably are, if you're watching TV, what you want to do is not be outside looking at the storm, but you want to be inside. And what you need to do is get to a low interior room of your house. So basement is good. Uh, even just the bottom floor away from your windows, that would be really great. Now, in an extreme case, you may want to be, um, you know, in a closet or something. But I think with this storm, you just need to be inside the storms we see here. Um, you know, it's not uh, not like we would get a tornado large enough to to, uh, you know, flatten many, many homes or anything like that. But it is certainly capable of producing damaging winds could maybe break out a couple windows, especially with the hail. So that's why we're taking this very seriously. Tornado warning again for Rutland County and also Windsor County. Turn off the warning so you can see the storm one more time, basically on top of the Menden and Rutland area. I'm uh, keeping in close talks with some family I have down there, actually, and they're telling me the hail is getting bigger. It was about pea size, and now it's up to about nickel size within that area. And not only um, that small hail, but also, again, golf ball size here, just hail just on the north side of Rutland County. Reading in with some of the latest reports right now as we're on the air. And looks like we still have the um, largest hail I've seen is golf ball size, again, just on the north side of the city of Rutland lightning indicator still showing a lot of action here as well. So you're not just going to find uh, the hail and high wind gusts and very heavy rainfall, but also the risk for frequent lightning right on top of uh, Rutland and also heading towards Clarendon 
and Plymouth. You can kind of see the direction of the storm too. Um, if you look at those yellow returns on radar, it's in good indicator of where those higher level winds are. So you can see that general motion based on that little streak of yellow on your screen. So heading off to the southeast. Let's start a track on this for you. Actually, I'll take you in just a little bit closer to the storm and we'll take a look at where this is heading over the next several uh, minutes, even to an hour or so. We want to put it on the leading edge of the storm, traveling off to the southeast around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So uh, at its current pace, Shrewsbury, you've got uh, about 10 minutes before this storm is on top of you. And Mount Holly, give it about uh, 20, 25 minutes at most, I'd say, before the storm is on top of you with the potential here for a tornado. That's why we're on air right now, because there is a tornado warning maybe just reissued. Let me post this again. Uh, yep, just looks like it's been fine-tuned a little bit to take off the back edge of that warning near Pittsford. The worst of the um, threat is gone for you. Still very heavy rainfall there, but the tornado threat is essentially right on top of Rutland, heading its way toward uh, Plymouth eventually in the Mount Holly area. All nearby communities, West Rutland as well. Uh, you should be inside your house and not outside trying to look at this storm because that is just not a safe place to be right now. All right, let's turn off the warning. So you can see again the storm, lots of lightning coming with this. Uh, we've been just trying to reiterate what I see here as far as um, the reports coming in from the National Weather Service and also um, in social media everywhere. We've had golf ball size hail, and I'm reading this as I'm on the air with you. So it um, looks like center Rutland, golf ball size hail. It's almost two inch diameter hail, and that can certainly do a number on uh, cars or you if you're outside. So that's why another reason you want to be inside. Storms still moving off to the southeast around 25 miles per hour. Northern Rutland County, also Northern Windsor County. Um, we're going to stay on the air as long as I um, see this showing some potential here of being a tornado, which I still do see that threat. Just looking at the wind speeds again, this is the velocity scope we're looking at inside the storm. So basically just to the south of Rutland, what we're looking at is wind speeds. The green is traveling northward, basically toward the radar, which is located up in uh, Colchester, Vermont, up near Burlington. And then where you see the reds, the wind's going south, so it's still showing that circulation right in and around the Rutland area. So that's looking inside the storm. Uh, we're looking at tornado warning here for the red shaded box, still including the Rutland area, Clarendon, Mount Holly, uh, Plymouth, eventually getting into Windsor County. This is definitely a serious situation. So it's, uh, it's been, you know, having damaging wind gusts all the way since the storm was born right around Addison County and traveling off to the southeast. And it's kind of recirculated a couple of times, weakened a little bit as it crossed over the Rutland County line, but still showing some very serious um, impacts here. Elsewhere around the region, no severe thunderstorm warnings for anyone else, but uh, there's certainly some very heavy rainfall coming with these storms through the Northeast Kingdom and Northern New Hampshire as well. Again, haven't really seen any severe threat there. It's just this one storm for center Vermont through Rutland County and also Windsor County. This is really the main one we're watching. So we'll continue to keep you posted here on Fox 44 and ABC 22 for the time being. Do just want to let you know if you're in Rutland County, in and around the Rutland area and points off to the southeast, including Plymouth, Mount Holly, in the Green Mountain National Forest. A little concerned for anyone out there camping right now. Maybe you've got some family camping. Give them a heads up that this is a pretty serious situation. Potential for a tornado, if not at least damaging wind gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour. It's knocked down trees already so numerous numerous trees up in Addison County and now uh, coincidentally in Rutland County where the storm is so tornado warning still in effect until five o'clock just a few moments from now the National Weather Service and myself of course reassessing this as the storm continues to circulate we'll be sure to keep you posted here on Fox 44 and ABC 22 as well as social media if you search for Fox 44 local news I'll be updating there as well as my personal Twitter account thanks so much for uh, keeping it tuned right here and we will keep you posted as the storm continues to circulate its way southeastward because this storm certainly does have the potential to produce a tornado. So um, these areas, please do take this seriously and be inside. Right, I'm going to throw a track on this storm for you. It's moving off to the southeast around 25 miles per hour so you can get an idea of what time this storm would arrive. So Pittsburgh, you've got, I mean, less than 10 minutes. It's pretty much on top of you now. Chittenden as well within the next 20 minutes up to Menden by the bottom of the hour just before 5 o'clock. So Please just use that as your um, latest time of arrival. You should be in your home and safe before that. So if you're watching us on TV, just make sure you are inside and away from windows because the storm could certainly produce some very damaging winds. Again, tornado warning for these areas 
of northern Rutland County near Pittsburgh, eventually toward Rutland. And if this storm holds together, you'll also want to watch out around the Plymouth, Vermont area. This tornado warning in effect until 5 o'clock. Um, checking in with social media, I have not heard uh, a ton as far as actual spotted tornado. But uh, certainly enough indication here on triple Doppler radar that we could be seeing a tornado forming. Also good indicator that we've got some large hail in here. Notice the purple showing up on triple Doppler radar. So it's not just damaging wind gusts, but also uh, the potential for some large hail, maybe as large as golf ball size. And that can certainly do a number on uh, you or perhaps your property, your car. This storm heading off the southeast Pittsburgh area under the gun right now. If I can just take a look at the um, velocity here and what we're looking at is the wind speed and this actually helps me see inside the storm and the wind direction. Um, what you're looking at here is winds going toward and away from the radar, which may not mean a ton to you, but it does show some circulation just around the Pittsford area where you see the greens, those winds are heading basically northward and where you see the red, those winds are heading south. So that gives you that rotation within the storm. So it looks like that's still pretty healthy, maybe weakening just a touch since the last radar scan. So uh, if you're just joining us here on Fox 44 and ABC 22, we're on the air because of a tornado warning in northern Rutland County near Pittsford. Uh, storms just come through the Brandon area. And again, I'm trying to keep up with the National Weather Service and social media as well as I'm on the air with you just to see what um, what we've got as far as damage. And so far, I know there are a lot of trees down in Addison County near Cornwall and Bridport. If you are maybe out and about today, if you've got some friends traveling up and down Route 7 in particular, this is a very busy corridor. This is not exactly a safe place to be right now because of this blinding rainfall the potential for damaging winds and also hail. So if you've got a friend out there, maybe uh, give them a heads up on this. And I'm also social, uh, posting on social media today, so please be sure to share that. Keep your friends safe as well. We'll be on the air periodically on Fox 44 and ABC 22 uh, for this tornado warning as long as it stays alive. If nothing else, do be prepared for some very high wind gusts and again, that potential for a tornado. I'm going to sign off for the time being, and we will be sure to keep you posted right here on Fox 44 and ABC 22. Thanks for joining us and keep checking in.